Hi, my name is Onza and welcome back to the 8th episode of New Manchester. This episode starts kind of untraditionally with a live play, but it's just like so I can show you what I'm planning to do and some and inform you of what I did off camera. So off camera I built part of this town the rail line it's a sort of it's basically a brain branch line from this line and currently this line is just here and ends there because I don't see any particular reason to expand it maybe later I will get it extended to here and get rid of this giant intersection and to make a small town or small city because this kind of reminds me this type of rivers reminds me of my hometown and this also reminds me of my area so I'll be adding probably I'll be adding stuff here and also probably I might add even things to Northern Junction the area I started in episode 5 with was it episode 5? I can't really remember yeah it was episode 5 and I will add some things like, you know, houses, shops, and some reasons to go there. So it's not just a random plot of roads in the middle of nowhere. And I'll also probably add some houses along these rural, rural roads. Maybe some at each, probably a small village in here, at this kind of loop, and at intersections like here, and probably here, but it will be just probably sooner or later be a part of this town. Yeah, some intersections, and... A town near this prison for the guards to live there and stuff and then no, maybe if I have enough time I might add things to this area which I have left neglected for like a month or two so yeah I added this just to have a terminus of a train line when I was messing around with railway 2 and, and yeah probably something in this area as well so I also did some things off camera I built a financial district and a rail yard I intended it to be in an episode but the footage was messed up it was like it was just really choppy it stuttered a lot yeah it the footage wasn't really that great so now there is a financial district but it's more like just some offices and a mall in the center and I turned all all these except them all into Rico buildings so is this a Rico building no not yet I know I turned this into Rico this and this into Rico because Rico is like it can actually work and not be just a decoration also I did this area the waterfront 
and I wanted it to be to be this like an episode yeah this was intended to be the episode 8 and this was intended to be episode 9 so yeah and then yeah that's probably it I will just add some suburbs some small towns and maybe in like episode 10 or something I will build a small airport but I want to finish it at least to like 15 episodes and I want to add things yeah I want to just the center of the city is finished and I just need things like small villages in the countryside and factories because yeah there's still a pretty high industrial and commercial demand even though these buildings have the capacity for 300 300 and 400 workers so yeah I'll add some industry probably in this area because it kind of seems realistic so yeah I'll pop into the how is it called yeah I'll put a time-lapse and yeah, you'll see more in the time-lapse so yeah. so I'm recording this voiceover a few days later after I recorded the footage and first things first yeah I bitten off more than I can choose so those other parts of the city the expansion of yeah adding some more ruler ruler god damn it that word is so complicated rule rural areas will be in the next episode and the town of northern junction probably also next episode material so yeah that was the bad news and the good news well good news something i want to thank you all for is that the previous episode has like 115 views that's crazy it's like I think top three of the videos I made that are the most watched. The only videos that are watched more is my speedrun of CZTR graphics, in, which is basically a mod for OpenTTD, which has 120 views, and my old videos from like 2017 are also that have a, have that many views because I advertise them on the group chat of our school so yeah that's pretty neat so yeah thank you so yeah what I'm doing now is that I'm expanding the light rail line I built over the course of several episodes to its probably final destination in the industrial district of Lafayette Hills so it has now yeah it has now a destination so people can commute there but yeah I might probably expand the line even more if I'm really bored and I need something to fill the time before Halo Infinite releases. By the way, I will make content on Halo Infinite. I've been saving up for the game for the past 5 months, so yeah. There will be Halo Infinite content and yeah now yeah i don't really know what to say 
I'm building a part of the town that is kind of inspired by actual a part of the city I live in which has a sort of there is a part which has a bridge in there which is like there's a train line to the capital and I do not live in the capital of my country and there's this bridge which has the main line and it's probably one of the coolest bridges in the city except for the viaduct through the center of the city but yeah it's a pretty cool part of the city it has nature yeah I'm kind of doing those kinds of areas where there is some infrastructure but it's mostly na nature and yeah now I'm adding a lot of houses and yeah now I'm getting to the industrial area and I really didn't know what much to build but I tried to use the most assets to make it interesting so I added some small industry a big incinerator because the city has currently a lot of trash problems and I also added some container yards because yeah container yards are pretty useful I yeah I also added a water purifier is it a water purifier basically a sewage plant for the water to get purified and released back into the rivers and so I removed the industry there and added the buildings and yeah, it's pretty complex because it's several assets and I had to move them around the buildings because they blocked the pipes so I couldn't connect them to the network of pipes and yeah I added a lot of things to this town I even expanded it off camera by adding things as such as trees to detail it and also some more houses to fill the area and on the hill I also flattened the hill or not flattened I made it smaller and put some houses on it so it's now not a mountain but just a hill which makes it a bit more realistic probably I don't know I don't know what America looks like so yeah I added smaller hills because those large hills really I did not like them that much they were just kinda in the way so yeah I, now I'm building the downtown which I wanted to have some high density but yeah those ultra tall buildings they don't really look good in that type of area so I just added some smaller apartment buildings because yeah because this is more of a historic part of the city but I added some terrace houses as well because yeah they are probably the most flexible asset you can pretty much put them almost anywhere and they still look good I also added a school because the capacity of the schools in this city in this city is now really bad there is like almost no schools there is like one in the center and some on the outskirts but not much more so the city needed schools schools and I also added some parking lots to have some place for people to park the, their cars although most people will probably be using the light rail line and yeah I guess yeah I also 
will be going to recording the this episode or the next episode on the day this video releases so yeah and yeah I think we're slowly getting to the end so if you like this video give it a like comment down below on what you liked and also because I need some more ideas for the city because I'm slowly running out of them and subscribe if you liked the video if you really liked it and I'll be seeing you the next time bye